For our newest update, we're introducing more adaptability into our training plans. So we all know that we're not robots. It's really hard to follow a plan exactly. Life gets in the way, we get sick, um, work uh, gets in the way. We all have family commitments, so it's not easy to really do the workouts as prescribed. Um, and uh, we want to still be able to uh, reach our goals and get kind of the optimal performance for the time we invest while respecting our real life in a sense. So for this, we introduced um, a new feature that uh, basically maps out how much uh, progress you have made so far in the plan. Um, it is important to know that the most important part for the uh, prediction algorithm is that you spend the prescribed time in the different training zones. And how you distribute that, the workouts are just one way to do this. So for instance, take um, five times two minutes VO2 max, you could also do four times two and a half minute VO2 max to achieve the prescribed uh, time. And uh, sometimes we may just want to ride with our friends or we just running with our friends. We're not like exactly sticking to these zones. And what this new feature allows uh, you is to see how track, how on track on, in general you are with the workout. So you see, for instance, here for me, um, I have done only half of the endurance I was supposed to have done up to this point in time. So the um, bottom bar shows um, what I should have done up to this point in time in terms of endurance of the total uh, endurance in the training plan. And you see the for the tempo, for instance, I shouldn't have done any tempo work yet according to my plan, but I did uh, more than three quarters of the total tempo work of the entire plan. And the reason for that is that I often run too fast for endurance and I run too slow for uh, the higher zone. So classic uh, beginner mistake working in between the actual beneficial zones. Um, and here it's kind of in my face uh, what I'm doing. So I can make adjustments. I can maybe uh, take that into account in my future workouts um, to kind of back, get back on track here. And another thing that this allows is that if you're, for instance, not following the plan at all because you're sick, um, then the system will pick up on this and it'll propose to you here at the, at the top um, that a new training plan might be more optimal. And then it's just a click away that the system recalculates based on your current state um, what the optimal training plan for you is actually at this point. Um, same applies if you are just kind of say doing whatever or you're not really managing to follow the workouts exactly system picks up on that and proposes to you to request a new plan um, based on this the fact that you will probably not be in the state that it has predicted you to be if you would have followed the actual workouts um, so that's it there's more adaptability now and you um, have the chance to try out these features. It's all live. And see you next time.